FS Flying School connecting. When connecting, please make sure that you are already in the cockpit of a plane in Flight Simulator and not at a menu. Nav 1 is tuned to Lima, Uniform, Kilo. OK, we're in Alpha, Sierra, X-Ray, Golf, Sierra. It's a good idea to check the correct function of your elevator, ailerons and rudder. When you're ready to go from taxiing to takeoff, from cruising to landing or whatever else, you need to advance the FS Flying School flight mode by pressing Control Shift Z, Control Shift Z. Remember that if the aircraft has been stored for a long time, we must be on the lookout for obstructions or damage caused by insects or birds. Flaps check complete. Nav 1 is tuned to Lima, Uniform, Kilo. Let's have the autopilot off. OK, you've finished taxiing and are about to take off. Current visibility is 8, 1 miles. The wind is 2, 7, 6 at 2 runway, 2, 4. Runway length is 6,000 feet. In a light aircraft, you'll probably want to take off with maximum power. Let's increase or decrease throttle smoothly. Let's keep us straight. Um, we don't normally set the parking brake whilst moving. Let's get going. Um, we don't. No um, we don't normally set the. Um, we don't. No um, we don't normally set the parking brake whilst moving. Let's get going. Um, we don't normally set the parking brake whilst moving. Let's keep us straight until we're airborne. Use the rudder to neutralize yaw. Let's get going. Accelerate faster. Don't brake during takeoff unless there's an emergency. Let's get going. Accelerate faster. Watch your steering. Use the rudder to neutralize yaw. We're ready to rotate. OK, let's rotate. In order for FS Flying School to provide you with a full, detailed analysis of your approach and landing, you need to begin your approach to landing at least 600 feet above the ground. So if, for example, the runway elevation is 300 feet, you would need to start at at least 900 feet on your altimeter. We've got plenty of speed, so let's increase our rate of climb. When you are on approach to landing and you descend below 500 feet above ground level, your instructor will look at the runway in front of you, and if its heading matches yours, will take it to be the runway that you intend to land at. We're too slow, lower the nose. We're too slow, lower the nose. 1,000 feet. Tower Cessna Alpha Sierra X -ray Golf if you have Sierra loaded a flight plan into FS Flying Flight. School, take care to pass each waypoint within one nautical mile in a light aircraft or within three nautical miles in a heavy. We've got plenty of speed, so let's increase our rate of climb. Don't descend so fast. We've got plenty of speed, so let's increase our rate of climb. We don't want to be descending during takeoff. We've got plenty of speed, so let's increase our rate of climb. If you wish, FS Flying School can automatically detect your entry into cruise mode when you level off, or landing mode when you begin a steady descent. These options are controlled at the pilot's screen. We've got plenty of speed, so let's increase our rate of climb. We've got plenty of speed, so let's increase our rate of climb. We've got plenty of speed, so let's increase our rate of climb. <coughs> let's not lose altitude during takeoff. We've got plenty of speed, so let's increase our rate of climb. We've got plenty of speed, so let's increase our rate of climb. We've got plenty of speed, so let's increase our rate of climb. We don't want to be descending during takeoff. Increase throttle so we can climb faster. We've got plenty of speed, so let's increase our rate of climb. We can navigate using an NDB or non-directional beacon by tuning the automatic direction finder or ADF to the NDB of our choice. Once tuned, if we are within range, 
the needle on the ADF will point directly to the NDB. Increase throttle so we can climb faster. We've got plenty of speed, so let's increase our rate of climb. Increase throttle so we can climb faster. If you want a quick challenge while flying, then with the autopilot off, press Control Shift C. Your instructor will set you a quick task to perform. These will be easy while flying straight and level, more challenging while turning or climbing or descending. We don't want to be descending during takeoff. Once you've completed 11 flights with FS Flying School, you can use the pilot briefing to examine which areas you're having problems with and which areas you've mastered. We don't want to be descending during takeoff. We don't want to be descending during takeoff. Increase throttle so we can climb faster. We've got plenty of speed, so let's increase our rate of climb. Increase throttle so we can climb faster. We've got plenty of speed, so let's increase our rate of climb. Increase throttle so we can climb faster. We've got plenty of speed, so let's increase our rate of climb. We don't want to be descending during takeoff. Okay, we finished taking off and are now cruising. Let's gain some altitude. One thousand feet. I'm very glad that you checked that the elevator was functioning freely and correctly before we took off. It's good to see that you checked that the ailerons were functioning freely and correctly before you took off. Next time, you need to check that the rudder is moving freely and correctly before we take off. Pretty sure I checked the rudder, actually. I have to check my video to be absolutely sure, but I'm pretty sure. Well done for making sure that your We're flaps good. could be fully extended and fully retracted before taking off. A bit off track here. Next time you need to make sure you perform the run-up procedure before you take off. Yes. I was wondering whether it would pick up on that, actually. That's pretty good to see. Okay, on our flight today, let's remember that in this aircraft we must never exceed... One, six, three knots. Yes, sir. One, six, three. Remember that when the time comes to deploy flaps, our maximum flap speed is... One, one, zero knots. One, one, zero. So we're pretty close to Mr. Timo76, a gentleman similar to my own age group, I assume. In a couple of feet here. love how accurate these are these honestly these are the best feeling uh, throttles I've ever owned much better than my Cytex so I don't want to get too close to Mr. Timo 300 feet out there I don't see him <laughs> And Mark Moraz is 460 feet off to my right, so we're basically in the middle of these two guys. 
and his steakhouse is 100 feet in front of them, we we're, uh, we're going to get sandwiched in, but actually need to go further right. Surprising how many people are out here flying in these uh, conditions. Okay. Losing a bit of altitude there. You can see bugger all. So, uh, yeah, just kind of testing out and getting used to the uh, to the FS Flying School app. Um, I will be putting a review together based on my findings, but uh, in order to review it, I need to know it at least Where would reasonably you land well. In an emergency? Where would I land in an emergency? I have no idea. In the snow. So we're actually going across the, the ocean here. Uh, I didn't really sort of discuss what the flight was. We're flying uh, from Scotland to Ireland. It's a short hop. Shouldn't take too long. About half an hour, something like that. From EGOY to EGAD, you can look those up. So I keep, I always forget the, the flipping names. Oh look, I can see a little bit of something out there. No idea what it is. Flying in conditions like this over the, over water always makes me think of. Uh, that Brazilian, no, is the Argentine, sorry, the Argentine footballer whose um, GA aircraft crashed in the channel. Horrible business. Frightening. And if you look at the text messages he sent, he was really scared way before anything bad happened so I think they must have been in trouble for a while which just makes it worse so much worse still <laughs> it's nearly Christmas and uh, that fate is not going to happen to us I cannot see this guy but he's really close We got some good pilots out here. Look at these guys. They're all uh, they're all holding and maintaining a very good uh, distance from each other. I think we all must be in C one seventy twos. I like the way he's just humming away in the background. That's awesome. Really makes you feel like you've actually got someone sat here. The only thing that's missing is a character. I would love to see a character added, an instructor, and if they could do like a different character for each instructor's voice, that would be spectacular. I think we're getting a little bit close to Marky Mark over here. I don't think there are any collisions in Microsoft Flight Simulator, but we'll just ease over a smidge. Oh no, he's miles away. Getting further away, if anything. That's fine. Mr. Timo, 412 feet away. With passengers. I cannot wait for the opportunity to be able to jump on other people's aircraft. Can you imagine that? You could turn up at an airport and have, like, some of the big YouTubers, maybe, uh, you know, I, I'd love to get to the point where I could do this, but I'm not really, I'm not really envisaging it as being a possibility. But it would be absolutely amazing to schedule a flight, have your subs come, join the game, get on your aeroplane, and enjoy the flight. That would be incredibly cool. 
See how many passengers you start with and how many you have at the end. That could be your rating. That could be your flight rating, couldn't it? Wouldn't that be cool? I'd like that. Sorry, punching the microphone. I'm incredibly thirsty, a bit dehydrated. So we are looking very good, coming up on the Isles of Ireland. Thousand feet. Nice and low. And you'll see precisely nothing out of the left. And equally as much out of the right window. Oh. Just the simple act of looking out the window and uh Plane's off on its own little journey across the ocean. It's got about half a tank of fuel left in this thing. Something I really ought to think about. So, quick question, what flight sim related rigs and systems do we all have on our Christmas list? Um, obviously I don't have anything on my Christmas list because um, I've pretty much got everything I need. Uh, the only thing I need is a shed. A shed where I can set up a flight sim rig and not have to take it down every single time I use it. That's what I need. It's the only thing that would make doing what I do better having a bit of space a bit of quiet talking with the wiffy earlier about having a a man cave <laughs> chance to be a fine thing but that's basically what I need is a man cave somewhere where I can Fix electronics, do a bit of woodwork, record my videos, edit my videos, render my videos without being disturbed. You know, and sometimes, especially now that I'm uploading stuff in 4K, it takes hours and hours and hours to uh, render these videos. So it'd be so cool if I could just have a render PC just running all night, rendering stuff out making sure that it's ready for the next day that would be insanely cool <sighs> but that's not going to happen not without the help of you guys and there aren't enough of you guys out there helping I'm incredibly appreciative of those of you who are out there and those of you who are out there who are helping, I am extremely grateful for you. But uh, yeah, it's, um, there's not enough to make a big difference, unfortunately. Sadly enough. Sorry, I could have sworn my daughter just Let's came. Let's gain in. some altitude. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, we're at a thousand feet, and he's six thousand feet off in that direction, so I don't need to worry about him. My friends, steakhouse, and where's my, where's my buddy gone? Hey, there's a chap there from Dorset. Nice. And I can't read who it is because. Uh, There's too much overlapping, but I think it's James Reed. Let's gain some altitude. 76. Why? Oh, God, look at this. Distracted. Wow, it's really distracted. Look how off the... Uh, 
the GPS we've gone. Let's gain some altitude. Why? You just want to be at a thousand feet, is that is that what it is? Is that what you're asking me to do? It'd be nice if you're a bit more precise. Let's climb to a thousand. That would be handy. Instead of let's gain more altitude. I mean we could gain so much more altitude. You know, we could go up to 10,000 feet. I think that's the ceiling for uh, a 172, isn't it? 10,000? I forget now. Way too many things that I have to remember. Can I possibly... Oh, wrong way. Alright, so we're coming up to EGAD. So we really, I don't think we want to be at a thousand feet anymore, do we? Maybe we do. It does say you've got to be 600 feet above your altitude. And I'm not sure what what uh, what the airport actually is so this is uh, oh is that land that's getting sure, some altitude that sure looks like land to me why would we want to gain some altitude? I'm gonna, right, control shift. We want smooth adjustments to your pitch. Okay, we're about to land. Your nav one OBS setting indicates runway heading is three, six, zero. You have no glide slope signal unless you get one. We'll be doing a visual approach. We can lower flaps because we're below 110 knots. ourselves down to about 500 feet. You're descending too fast. Five hundred feet. You're not lined up with the runway, so I'll rate your landing based simply on your airmanship as I don't know which runway you're landing at. <laughs> that's bad, isn't it? Well, I mean that's actually my fault for uh not Don't descend so fast. Five hundred feet. You're not, I'm not telling the him. Runway, so I'll yeah. rate your landing based simply on uh, your airmanship because I don't know which runway at? you're landing at. 400 feet. Ah, uh, totally pulls that up. Yeah, I mean that was totally my fault because I, for some reason, thought he was going to be aware of the flight plan that we've pinned in, and um, as such. 300 feet. Don't descend so fast. Are we going to crash? Feet. You're descending too fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so as a result, I kind of expected him to uh, say when we were starting to descend. So that was totally, totally my fault. Um, but... You're descending too fast. 100 feet. Something I'm going to have to... You're uh, descending too fast. All right, shut up, dude. Something 50. I'm going to... Something I'm going to have to look into, uh, you know, is it capable of that? A little bit more RPMs, please. 100 feet. 50. Wings level. 40. 30. Oh, that, that was a big tree. Level wings. What the hell? Stall. Nose down. Level wings. Full throttle. 20 feet. Flare. Uh, yeah, we're not landing in a field. Oh, we might be. Oh, we might be landing in a building. Ugh. Well, you flew the plane so badly, even I couldn't stop crashing it. There's room for improvement. That flight contained stalls. Problems you need to work on. Check your logbook.
OK, we're starting a new flight. We're not starting a new flight. Why do you think we're starting a new flight? <sighs> OK, so, uh, yeah, that was uh, totally my fault because I, I, for some reason, I swore that um, because I'd penned in a GPS route that uh, FS Flying School would know about it and would tell me to start descending. Uh, but yeah, the alarm bells went off and I didn't react to it, so that's my fault, 100%. Still, um, some good stuff in there. I think in the next flight we might do something where we can actually see, because that makes life a lot easier. Maybe we'll go somewhere. <laughs> Maybe we'll go somewhere without snow. I don't know. Maybe we'll go somewhere else with snow, but um, we'll we'll do it in the daytime. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun, and uh, I learnt some stuff. I got more used to the controls. I don't like having to lean forward and press Control Shift and Z. Maybe I can bind that to a key or get voice attack on it or something. But uh, yeah, on the most part, that was basically a test of the system, and I found some limitations with it, but also some solutions to some of those limitations, so pretty good overall, I enjoyed that, I hope you did too, just ignore the crash landing, again, I'm not in any way trying to fly realistically, I'm just experimenting and trying stuff out. And that's, that's a vast improvement over the last three flights, I can tell you. So uh, we're heading in the right direction, just very slowly. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Maybe see you in the next one. Till then, take care and goodbye for now. Oh, and Merry Christmas.